over the hills and far away, Teletubbies come to play. One, One. two, three, Tubbies! Hello, Puff Nostalgia. Let's go. Teletubbies. Another Ragdoll production. This is interesting. So, Teletubbies came out in 1987 and basically sort of changed, sort of, well, I could say, television for better or worse. I would say it was interesting actually because it came out in the late 90s, at the tail end of the 20th, of the 20th century, the tail end of the 90s. Um, and it sort of became popular when it first arrived, because um, I think the Brit the British just taken it to the hearts like anything else. They merged. They, the public went crazy for the soft plushies that came out, which I didn't even know that the British went crazy for, because I didn't watch until like um, was it like a hunt. Hundred Guys Toys with Jonathan Ross, which I thought it was interesting. There was interview segments, news reports of it, of this crazy. You know, people people were lying outside, at to toy shops to get one of the Teletubbies, which is which is quite interesting. I never seen the British people like that. Even though the Americans did a similar thing with um, was it Talking Elmo? Um, Talking Elmo. Yeah, I think that I think. Well, the American side of it was a bit more, a bit more savage and violent than Teletubbies, very much. Um, so it was done by Ragdoll, and it's quite different from what these, well, they sometimes used to do. I mean, with Ragdoll, these tend to use puppets most of the time. Um, I think the main, the main exception was to Brum, that feature, featured live, act, live action stuff, you know, Mortal Car, live action. With, with all, actually with, with actors very much, and this all follows an interesting trend. It features actors, but they're in suits, and, it, and it's basically them speaking a different language altogether, and it just follows the adventures of them, like what well, they're learning very much, and they have TVs in the stomach, and they tend to it tends to cut away from them, like. Just like that, you know, like they they tend to look at the stories and they sort of, they sort of learn about different things. Then he cuts to a real life situation, of course. I think one example I could really think of actually is someone live like a fam like a family living in a double decker bus. I think that's the only thing I could really think about. I can remember really watching, which is interesting. I think that's actually done a BC repeat or something back in the two, early two thousands. I think I remember watching. Um, it was interesting. When I think of it now, I think of it is well. There's some there's some certain elements to it as well because you have elements of like play box in there, because you have there's two characters they they awake they come out, and they learn about different things and then they cut to another thing to do with families very much. That's all, that's basically like a similar very similar thing. 
very much. Tom Steve Green did the same thing as a similar thing as well. Even though when they arrived to talk about well, it's meant to do animals really, and animals, insects, so and so forth, they have like a, a woman named Jane to explain to the audience what it is in simpler terms. And the tots watch over them, like in you know hide and you know just keep watching, be intrigued. But it's, but it's, Teletubbies is sort of like a false little bit of template to Playbox, even though Teletubbies is more psychedelic and a bit more outwardly than Playbox. I mean, that was more studio band and a bit more simpler in a way. Um, we get to this, we have the interesting colourful characters, of course, Tinky Wiki and Dipsy and Lala and Poe. We have Nudu, the infamous vacuum cleaner, who basically does all sucking noises. We introduce the baby son. What a weird concept. That's a weird, that's a weird design, that is. You know, um, the theme itself, mm, it's okay. It's okay, I mean, it's, it's, it's memorable. When you look at it now, it's quite... I don't know what the new version of the theme might. I think, have they retained the old, the old theme? Because the interesting thing with this is, Tato was sort of finished around the early 2000s, about 2002, 2003, I think. And after and then... It's it, it, it gets cold following still because people still remember Teletubbies very much, but I was like a, a sort of like a dark and meme or something like that, or something like a homosexual type thing, very much especially with Tinky Winky of course because he's had like had a handbag room like a red leather handbag, and obviously these jokes and stuff and this led to these sort of creepy pasta type things of like slendy tubbies and stuff you know with the, the games of course you know the sort of things they do look weird and people saw they make some weird horrible horrific fan shit about them very much it wasn't until about 2015 that he got rebooted it came back much to my mother's annoyance because <laughs> I remember a few years back she, we seen I think my mum wants to go on a toy shop, actually, and had, and had a look. I think this is in Lancaster, I think this was. And she had a look around to see what the was said. And she noticed some tiny tubby toys at the side. And she said, how do they bleed back? I thought they, I thought they got rid of them. I thought they, thought they would be seen again. God. <laughs> I think she didn't like tiny toys that much, even though she bought me some of the merchandise. So, far and so forth. Yeah, so Teletubbies for me is sort of interesting because for nostalgic reasons I did own a soft blush, I think everyone did, I own Poe very much, I think there's a picture of this little photograph of me in a cop with Poe very much, um, I remember getting a VHS as well, of it, I think that's about it, but I can really think of, oh and that, was like a children's um, BBC Children's TV compilation as well that featured them on it. I think either it's a, he was from either, either it's a promo video from the from a toy box magazine I I got years ago. I think I still have it actually. Just just the tape, no car. I think it was in a car park sleeve. So shame. Yeah. I think I really can't think of anything more to return to it, really, even though its legacy is sort of continued. I mean, for 21 years, it's been, it's been around, and it's still enticing kids' minds, and adults as well, in more ways than one. But anyway, thanks for watching. I've been talking about Teletubbies from 97 to 2002, 2003, and then came back, and you got rebooted in 2015. I think. Thanks for watching. See you for the next video. Tubby bye bye. Time for Tubby bye bye. Time for Tubby bye bye. Bye bye, Tinky Winky. Bye bye. Bye bye, Dipsy. Bye bye. Bye bye, Lala. Bye bye. Bye bye, Poe.
Bye-bye, Tinky Winky. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Dipsy. Bye bye, Lala. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, Poe. Bye bye. The sun is setting in the sky. Teletubbies, say goodbye. Mm-hmm.